Yo, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you starting up tiny? Unbelievable. Shows up at my house here, thinks he's running the show, grabs the keys and starts up tiny. What are you doing, man? Oh, we're going to have the conversation, man. <laughs> What is he doing, ninjas? Hello? Where are you going? Bring my stuff back. Hello? Yeah, you better come back. And this is the same guy, ninjas, that's saying, I'm so nervous to back up a trailer. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And this is coming from a guy who says, I'm so nervous of backing up the big trailer and tiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. What's up, Busy B? Not much. Where you been, man? What you been doing? We missed you, dude. It's I'm been like... Out of you staying out of trouble? Well, that's always a good thing. I like your new hat. Thank you. It's a white hat. New hat? Yep. Yeah, I haven't seen it before. Where do you get those hats? Academy. Academy? Yeah, I like those American uh, flag with little fishes. <laughs> Are you a fisherman? I like your new pants, man. Thank you. Keeping you warm? Oh, yeah. I bet they are. I need to get me a pair like that, for real. I've been meaning to. I keep forgetting, but those, I bet they stay warm. Oh, yeah. All right, Busy Bee, so what are we doing here today? Uh, we're going to try to figure out why your braking trailer ain't working. So, did you watch the last video? Yeah. You did. Are you a loyal ninja, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you saw that we checked the two hubs. Yeah. The two front ones on both sides. Everything looked good. So we're going to check the back two hubs just real quick and see if we discover anything. If we don't, what's the next thing we're going to do? Uh, dump trailer, right? Yeah. We're going to connect it. And if it's doing the same thing with the dump trailer as it is with this trailer, what does that tell us? It'll be something they hooked up or something on Tiny. On Tiny. Hard to believe it'd be something with Tiny because it's all plug and play. It would have to be the module, the brake controller that they hooked up, maybe. Yeah. But who knows, right? So you ready? Yes. You gonna go get a jack? Yes. Yeah, I mean, you're ready. Look at you. Y'all dressed up. <laughs> you knew you were gonna be outside today, didn't you? Oh yeah. It's actually really windy, ninja. So uh, let's go try to see if we can figure out something with these two back hubs. And if we don't discover anything, then we'll uh, we'll take a quick look with the dump trailer, and then uh, we'll assess it, you know, and go from there. How's that sound? So Busy B's already jacked it up. Did you jack it up? A little bit. <laughs> you getting ready to jack it up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, what did we discover on the other side of the trailer? Just had when, a flat tire. We had a flat tire. Well, it wasn't really flat completely, but it was low. Was there. And it was that side over there. So we'll, uh, when we get to that other side, we'll assess it again, right? We like yeah. assessing things. Oh, yeah, and okay. uh, we're going to check it out and see if there's maybe a nail or something. Never Got a nice little plug kit that I just purchased. <laughs> <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. What's wrong, man? I don't know. Why are they, uh, why are they coming off so hard? I don't know. Let's try this again. Quit playing with them nuts, man. <laughs> that sounds like that drill's going out or that. Sounds like that stud's broke because that nut's not turning. What? Are you sure you got the uh, right size? Man, everything was fine until you showed up. You show up and all of a sudden we got a problem. Look, man, look, I know you've been gone for a few days, okay? And all of a sudden you come over here and you start tearing stuff up. So why don't you tell the ninjas what you just did? Apparently the one I had was the wrong size. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that you took three nuts. <laughs> okay, squirrel. But, um... He, he loosened three nuts with the wrong size and it was this size and then he complained he said i think you got you you got two that are broken <laughs> i'm like really and i come and look at it and it's freaking the wrong size i have to give him the right size come on busy bee <laughs> get in your game man a few days off all of a sudden he's lost, like a little lost puppy let's take a look what we got over here how's the wiring look in the back look pretty good look all right <laughs> Yeah. Looks tight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus. I think I need new uh, bolts. Yeah. Would, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you use the wrong size, though. Now, Ninja's one thing with these pins. 
what did I say earlier, Bisbee? They, they can be reused, but they do bend. Yeah. So after a couple of uses at least, what do you want to do? Change them. Change them. You want to replace them. <laughs> you like getting grease on you, don't you, boy? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, when you straighten it out, you just tap it up because it's got to come up. Is that loose? Yeah, that's loose. That needs to be tightened for the pin to come out. There you go. Step it with a hammer. With that. And then you gotta tap it underneath so it comes out a little. I'm happy with that. There you go, keep going. Oh, flatten it. Pull that. I'll get you some paper towels. All right. Looks good. I guess while I go get your paper towels, just touch those wires and make sure they're on there. There's nothing wrong with this one either. Okay. Well, one thing we found out, this is why it's so good that we do this, is that one was loose. Yeah. That pin in there. Because that's supposed to be tight, correct? Pretty uh, tight. Not super, not super tight, tight, but that wasn't tight at all. We just switched to this other side. We're going to go ahead and double check it as well. And uh, this is the tire that was uh, low on air this uh, morning. But we just discovered it. And I think somebody in the comments section in last night's video noticed it and pointed it out. So I appreciate uh, you guys mentioning that. But there it is. The shining armor. But we're going to go ahead and uh, plug this before we put it back. There's nothing wrong with them. They're perfectly fine. The wires are intact. Everything looks good. So that now means we checked all four of them. Two yesterday and two today. And uh, they look good. So what do you think, Busy B? Yeah, no Still think it's with that controller, brake Probably controller? The controller they sold you. Maybe. Okay. Well, at least now we know. Yeah. We've uh, double checked. So while Busy B's putting that back together, I wanted to go ahead and show you this uh, really cool plug kit that I purchased, I think last year. Right towards the end of the season, when I was getting a lot of flats on my trailer tires, just picking them up on the road. Somebody suggested this. I think they actually even shared a link in uh, one of the videos. And I clicked on it and I ended up buying it. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. I, I had some that I just picked up at Walmart and whatnot, but they were just cheap. Wasn't really uh, durable. They were constantly bending and breaking. And what I'm talking about is these right here. They weren't really heavy duty. This is really heavy duty ninja. It's like, I mean, this is pretty heavy. And, um, you know, it, it's going to last me a long time. And it came with this nice little package right here. And, uh, I've already had to use it a couple of times, obviously, but yeah. So pick yourself up. Just go to Amazon if you don't have any. And just uh, in the search, just type in, you know, plug kit. And it'll uh, pull right up. It's pretty nifty. And uh, this is the company right here. I'm sure it's probably made in China, don't? I wouldn't be surprised. But it's 98 piece tire repair kit it's got all kinds of extras and stuff and plugs and caps and all kinds of things even came with a little pliers <laughs> he's over there bouncing the tire <laughs> like a freaking animal that's a big one isn't it yeah that's what she said 
Here. You're supposed to turn it. He's trying to just push it in. Man, you're rough. Another really cool thing with this. What is this, baby? Nice to pull it out, right? No. You know how when you're pushing a plug in, you always wonder like, how deep should I go? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's, I mean, right? Yeah. This, <laughs> come on, man, seriously. This is where it tells you to stop. To stop. So it's already pre-made. That's pretty nifty. Nifty, he say. <laughs> Doesn't that feel a lot heavier, just the metal? Yeah. Compared to the little ones at Walmart? It was a whole lot better. And it wasn't even that much. I think it was like 20 something bucks for this whole kit. Not bad. No, it's worth every penny. Busy B just can get it through the hole. Yeah. Always having a hard time putting it through the hole, don't you, Busy B? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping it everywhere. Look, 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 look. Let's see how he does this. Look, look. Oh. Should have put a little lube on it, Bisbee. Why are you turning your back towards me? I can't see. <laughs> I gotta see the action, man. Golly. <laughs> you gotta go in and out, Bisbee. There you go. Come on, you almost had it. You give up right when you're there. Is that what she said too? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You might need a little lube. <laughs> Look at you, <laughs> lubing up that hole. Come on. I've never seen a man struggle this much on plugging the tire. <laughs> you need Sensei to do it? You might have to. <laughs> what is all that white stuff? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> really? You getting a little excited there? He's dropping everything. Oh my god. There you go. Golly. What? Alright, so this is how it's done. First, you gotta, you know, clean it up real nice, okay? You gotta go on the angles too, alright? <laughs> Okay, we're good. Second of all, you've kind of already ruined this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to use it. Cause it's almost broke. And that, my ninjas, is how it's done, Busy B. You wanna go get that little compressor? Yeah, I can. Throw some air in it. What are you doing now, Busy B? I'm taking these fender flares off. You're, you're taking these fender flares off, why? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You come up here, you show up, you take over my keys, you drive the truck, then you <laughs> almost mess up my trailer, and now you're t destroying Tiny? A little bit. Hmm. Let's see what kind of work they did behind the fender flares, right? Yeah, we'll find out. Hmm. Let's see if we can get this one pulled up. <laughs> Shitty Joe. I'd leave him on. I'd leave him on. If you don't plan on going anytime soon, I'd leave him on. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. That's a shortcut, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, we don't need to take it off there. How, how do they know I'm gonna keep these on? What if I decide to take these off? You'd be screwed. Hey, watch your mouth. Babies are watching, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, that's terrible. Ninjas, look at this. Concluding this video, and to let you know what is going on with Tiny, and why am I uh, even uh, talking about taking off the fender flares? So, come to find out, a couple of things that have popped up throughout these last few months that I've had the wrap on Tiny is it's got some issues, man. It's 
peeling in some places. I've also noticed, and Busy Bee has noticed, a couple of places where they've taken shortcuts. You just witnessed one of the shortcuts that uh, we haven't really taken those fender flares off at all. And I just, I've been messing with that one that they never put on properly. And I've got a couple of bungees holding it temporarily. But that one seemed to be, they went all the way. But obviously the one that we just took off in the front, uh, they didn't even go ha all the way down. So how do they know that I'm going to keep those fender flares on? You know, what if I decide to take them off and keep them off? You know, so that that's definitely a shortcut. The good news is uh, I have pointed a lot, not all of it, but a lot of the issues that have popped up and uh, sent them to pictures and they're absolutely super understanding and apologetic and willing to work with me. So they have asked me to take Tiny back to them to uh, get that, you know, taken care of. Me personally, just from all the issues that I have pointed out here and there, they're pretty much going to have to redo the whole truck. Uh, tailgate, I don't see any issues, so they'll probably won't have to do that. But uh, hood, the sides, obviously, the back windows, and then the very top of the, the roof of the truck. Anyway, uh, that's, that's really what, and we were going to take the fender flares off because I wanted them to be off. So they don't mess with them anymore because obviously they didn't put them on there properly back. I've never had issues with those before and then ever since I got them back, I almost lost one on the highway the other day. Well, a few weeks back, but, um, you know, so, but I guess I'm going to keep them on until uh, I go and get Tiny uh, back to them. Got a new sticker that came in uh, a while back, probably about a week ago or so. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and share this with you and show you. So I put them up already. Coda's longboard skateboards right here. He's actually a really loyal ninja. He sent me some stickers in the past. I think he's finally upgraded them to these. They're really nice stickers. I want to say he sent me another one that I put somewhere. Let's see, where is it at? Here is his old one right here, uh, right there. And uh, it, he's a really cool young man who's just doing his thing, man. I. Uh, I have a lot of respect for him. He's just doing his thing. Uh, he does a little bit of lawn care stuff on the side. He's very active on Instagram. If you guys want to check him out, it's Coda's Longboard Skateboards. Pretty pretty cool guy, man. Uh, but that's his new sticker. I want to say I put another one somewhere, but maybe I'm thinking of something else. Thriftskate.com. Maybe that's the store where he's really active with. But He's a skateboarder. He does lawn care. He's uh, so if any of you other ninjas are into that, go check him out. Really cool guy, man. I really enjoy following him and uh, watching his journey. I've got a couple of stickers on the way, so uh, stay tuned for that. There'll be a couple of stickers uh, that are coming in. And uh, yeah, if you have a sticker you want to send me, man, feel free uh, to email me, DM me on Instagram, and uh, you know we'll put you up here on the ninja locker of fame. But Coda has also sent me a letter, so let's go read it. Happy New Year's, Nick. Hope all is well with the family. Tiny looks fabulous. He is a beast of a work truck. Thank you, buddy. Yes, I like Tiny. Tiny's all right. Uh, here's an update for everyone that is, wants to know what is going on with my company, Coda's Longboard Skateboards, which is what I just mentioned. I am now getting sponsorships and passing the favor back fellow skaters and starting to build and press skateboards to sale and sometimes often giveaways. So uh, I'm also making merchandise as well. That's pretty cool, man. I wouldn't mind having some of your merchandise. So uh, just let me know when you're ready with that. I really like Busy B. I like Busy B too. <laughs> um, he rocks. Also, thank you for turning me on to Echo. The leaf blowers are amazing. Echoes are good. Good products, man. Leaf blowers and weed eaters are really good. I've had really good luck with them. Thank you for supporting me and have a safe 2021. Best wishes in the future. Lakota. Lakota's longboard skateboard. Lakota. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you sending this out to me. I know it's been about a week or two ago, but I've just been really busy and I wanted to not rush it and take my time to really read this and let you know I got your stickers up here. So things are picking up, man. People are calling me. People are emailing me. I've gotten several referrals. People are sending me uh, some uh, leaf cleanups still. I mean, there's just so much work in the play. It's un insane. But the last few days have just been really, really raining and cold. 
So I, I don't really want to do nothing when it's like super cold. We'll see you in the next one, ninjas. Save Take care. Save green. Peace. Save it.